The Tiger game we made last time was such fun. Lots of you wanted us to make a racing game, so that's what we'll do today. Welcome to the Whiz Kids Digital Skills Virtual Classroom. Let's call up PJ for a lesson on how to make a racing game. Hi there and welcome to my racing game and as you can see we've got lots going on here we've got a really cool track we've got two cars ready to take off we've got mines around the track and we've got a hut here at the end which is my finish line but what on earth are these little lines in the middle of the road they are called a path and what they are going to do is they allow my computer car to follow a route around our track and that is what you're going to learn in this quick lesson so let's strip it back and let's get started To begin with, we need to bring in a sprite. So let's go down to the object tool and right click on our little patch of grass here. And let's add a rover. And I'm just going to quickly change its color. So this is going to be the computer rover. Uh, he's going to position here. And what we need to do is program a path for him to follow. And we do that by using the path tool. And if we just right click on the little patch of grass here, you can see we've got a couple of options here. And the one we're after really is the one add road. So if I click on that tool, you'll see it adds this big blob of road. If I press the up and down arrows, it can change. That will be too thin. This is nice and thick, so that's what I want to do. And you'll see that the path tool actually follows your mouse. So I'm just going to make a short little track here just to show you how the path tool works. When you want to finish using your path tool, you right click. And now we've done that, let's right click and program our computer car to follow the path. So go straight to do, don't need a when and we want it to move on the path quickly and if I press escape and I press play you'll see that the computer car does indeed follow the path which is great but our race doesn't end so we need to bring in a new sprite and we're going to uh, ending here we're going to bring in a hut and we go down to a little um, menu bar down here let's choose the hut here and I'm just going to quickly change the hut's color so I want to program my car now when it bumps into the hut the computer car is indeed going to win the race and I'm going to lose. So let's go to program. Let's go down to line number two and we're going to program a collision. So when the computer car bumps into the hut, it's going to be game over for me. So end. Okay. Press escape and press play and you will indeed see the computer car zoom around the track. And once he bumps into that hut, it's game over. So let's press escape. Let's move over this computer car and let's actually bring in a brand new rover. This is going to be me. I'm just going to position it here and we're going to program player one, which is us, to move when we want it to. So let's go to when and keyboard and you can choose any keys you like, but I like the arrow keys. So when I use my arrow keys, I'm going to move quickly, quickly. And when I bump into the hut, I expect to win. So I'm going to go to objects and hut. I go straight to do, go to game and win. So two very similar lines of code really. Okay. So let's go and press play and we are off. And you can see now, like I just edge in front of my computer car, I have won the race. So make your track a lot more elaborate than mine. Get coding and enjoy. Wow, very creative! Wasn't that cool? Now make your own racing game. And next time on Coding for Crinu, we're going to be learning how to make a world for all our games.